when the game begins we need to aim for the yellow hey i want to take you through Center. some of the features of this game if you have played tennis clash before then maybe you already know some of these features but if you're someone who's uh, interested in playing it then there are a few things that you need to know first and foremost this game is played online uh, the download file is not that big when you initially start but as time goes by the game becomes bigger and bigger because you will be downloading different stages of the game as you progress you know that as you download the different stages then the game will also grow and the size will increase the other thing you also need to know is that when your internet hangs or is unstable then you might lose the game because the entire game relies on internet so when you're not able to connect to the server you will not be able to play against your opponent and that might lead to you losing the game so i'll start from the left top corner at the top there is a photo you should click on it you'll be able to see the name of the player in white and the name of the team uh, as kenya open you can change this by clicking on the pen and then changing the name as you wish uh, on the right of that you can see the name rukitu that is the stage at which you are playing uh, below the photo there there are a number of trophies that you've won or you've collected the number of or the amount of coins you've collected and the current balance of coins that you have and then below that there is the player id and then we have a player lineup these are the attributes that you're using and the level of each attribute remember these attributes determine your strength so the higher the attribute the more the strength you have and of course you have to upgrade each attribute as time goes by then below that we have career overview i have been able to play a total of 1748 games i have won 737 games my win ratio is 42.2 percent and i have a maximum of 297 trophies win streak only one uh, because i lost a game before the last game i played and then maximum win streak is six i'm um, meaning that i've won six games in a row you can also click on history to see the past games as i was telling you uh, on tour four i won the last game seven three i lost at the game before that on tour four at six seven and that is repeated seven four again so these are the last wins that i had i also had a very bad defeat of two seven so that is the history you also have settings and from here you can either turn on the music you can hear some sound and the sound is now off there are several other things you that you can turn off the sound effects that is the sound that you hear whenever someone hits the ball whenever the player tries to run and so on uh, there are so many other things down there turns and so on let's move to the next item that is uh, 296 that is the number of trophies i currently have on the left you have 44 36 21 that is my global ranking in the game in the middle that is my name and then on the right we have the number of trophies you can also go narrow down to the league and you can see that in my league i'm currently number five and the league ends in four days time so if by that time i will have moved up to position one two or three then there are rewards for uh, finishing the game in such a position in the middle at the top we have 36,752. that is the number of coins that we've collected so far until now uh remember these coins are not constant because when you lose you lose the amount you had put at stake and you also uh get that deducted from the number of points every time you play a game there is an entry fee which is deducted from that amount of coins so that is the balance but in total i've earned three million on the right at the top we have 76 gems 
those are also I could call them high value money or medium of exchange for various attributes that you can buy in the game under that under the profile we have the free bag that is now loading about 20 minutes to go from that you get some free goodies if you're playing and that free bag turns yellow then you have some free goodies that you can collect there is the name zodiac season when you tap that you can actually see the progress at the top just on the left of number eight we have that that is the first eight at the top we have a progress bar when that progress bar reaches uh, 120 it's now 101 of 120 when it reaches 120 then we get to collect a bag on the left of the screen remember anything that is ticked or that has a tick is already collected so the next item that we are supposed to collect is 800 coins that does not have a tick so with that you always know what to, ex to expect when you reach that point you also have challenges in the next tab and you can actually again we've lost our connection so let's wait yes so we have several items here match winner ticking clock and great deal so those are some of the challenges that we can earn rewards from let's go back to the main window so we have rookie you know that that one shows you your position we also have inbox this basically shows or delivers news from the game developers for example collect points with the AO warm up code so the number of points you can collect and so much more so these are basically informative information the, we can refer to this as email or so so that is basically news but you also have an inbox if there's been a problem with the game for example I think there's a, a message down there uh, it reads hello challengers we are sorry about the server instability from last Saturday please find compensation attached as we continue to work on the issues you have reported see you on the court so that's one reward I collected a year ago there were five maestro multi rackets and then five energy drinks so those are some of the goodies you can collect uh, there are games that you can play within the game so for example this is called the lucky can machine so what happens with the lucky can machine is that you are given a collection of four cards and then you pick a card from among those given so you'll be able to get a free entry after 50 minutes as you can see just below the let's play button there's a clock running so after 50 minutes i'll be able to show you what happens here but basically you pick a card out of the four and as long as you don't pick a broken racket then you continue picking them and getting goodies until such a time when you will pick a broken racket when you get or select the broken racket then you lose everything unless you pay using gems to continue so if you're not if you at some point you want to discontinue the game you just leave and collect the loot or the goodies you will have gotten down here we have four bags so we have uh two or three two or four two or four and there is another red bag it's a grand bag so it's a bigger bag compared to the blue ones uh, what you can do is that when you play you can see on top of that red bag it's already being opened uh, at the moment when you click on a blue bag let's say for example this then you realize that below the bag there is a message that another bag is already being opened alternatively you can open now using 38 gems i don't want to use my gems so i'll let that slide the red bag is being opened so what we can do is that you can actually speed up this when you click on speed up you'll be able to reduce the time by 60 minutes by simply watching an advert so we'll play that most 
had what are about 30 seconds. So after that 30, after those 30 seconds, then you qualify to reduce the timing or the time in which the bag will open. So look at this. We had two hours to go. We now have one hour, 46 minutes, and that will continue for as long as you continue to uh, click on the yellow button to reduce the time. You can also click on the green button to reduce or to open the bag now using 26 gems, but it may not be worth it, so we let that go. Now down here, there are several buttons. Uh, let's start with the first one. So the first button basically takes you to the social media and uh, networking platform. So from here we have a group called Kenya, Kenya Open with one member. I created the group uh, or the team today because I felt that I need to belong, belong. I felt that I needed to belong to a team. So when we go to the second button, so under the team menu, you can actually chat with the other players. You can click on chat to send messages. For example, hi. And the message will be displayed. Uh, actually, it shows the name of the player that has written a message and the message and the time when the message was sent. You can send emojis. For example, that. You can also network with other players. Then you can go to Club Slam. This is a new feature that is being introduced soon. So we won't be able to get anything from there. We, you can also check out your friends or invite friends or accept friend requests. You can also log in to Facebook and then connect with your friends. So let's move to the next button. So the cut button. This is a shop from where you can buy some of the attributes to upgrade your players. If you feel that it's taking too long to get the free goodies, then you can always buy any attributes that you want in order to upgrade your players. We then have the tennis button. That is basically the play button. It is where you tap to get the current screen whereby you can see your player and other features. From here you can play the game by just tapping the play button and then let's now click on the lineup. Lineup basically holds the attributes that you, that the player has. So you can look at this you can, you can see that the first one is basically where you select the player you want to play the game with. For example, we could select Liu by tapping select here. And when you go back, you now realize that Kaito's select button is now activated. Liu's button shows that he is selected. When you go back to the game, you can now see that the player has, has different clothes. The stamina has changed and so on. So the attributes also change based on how you upgrade your player. So we can go back to Liu, select him, and then you'll realize that the player has changed. You can also dress the player and so many other things. These are all the players that we have. John is the first, Hope the second, Florence the third, Liu the, th the fourth, and then we have Kaito and Anton, Victoria, Omar, Diana, and so on. All these players are in different levels of the game. So the second one, Basically, is the racket. You can choose the racket you're playing with. For example, I'm using the Panther. This is a rare racket. And to upgrade this, I'll need around 58,400 coins. I don't have at the, that at the moment. I could as well choose other rackets. For example, this is Epic. But then I don't want to equip the player with that. But basically, you can change. So when we equip this, then you realize that the forehand attributes and the volley attributes have changed. When we change that and go back to the rear, the panther, this supports forehand. So we go back and we realize that the forehand is now at 42, which is a good thing. The higher the attributes, the better. 
So there are several other attributes here, the grip, the shoes, the wristband, the nutrition in a bag. Now to the last bit of this tutorial, we'll tap the last uh, menu at the bottom of the game on the right. Currently, there is a sign that there's a free ticket down there. So let's tap that or select that. So this basically takes you to events or it's called events hub. So from this point, you have different events or active events that you can take part in. There are different leagues that open from time to time on this menu. So once you click on that, then you are able to open. Let's say, for example, try to open Bull's Eye Challenge. Uh, we can then tap play. It loads the, the game. Of course, I had played this in the course of the day, so we may not be able to proceed. But I just want to show you. Oh, this has opened. So this means that we can play the game. So this brings us to the end of the review of this game. I believe that you now understand the different parts of the game and can play with a lot of ease. It's an interesting game. I've been enjoying playing it. But I know it has some flaws or some weaknesses that maybe the developers might consider looking into. For example, the fact that you have to play it online, uh, it's, it's sometimes not easy, especially when working in areas where the internet connection is not good. Then secondly, there are times when the ball just hangs, you hit the ball, it hangs for a few seconds and that gives your opponent room to counter attack. Uh, it's not such a, a great feature in the game, but generally I've enjoyed playing this game and I hope that you will too enjoy playing the games. Otherwise, this brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one and guys consider subscribing and sharing these reviews with someone out there thank you and goodbye